Hey YouTube, uh, yet another Max Edition Jumbo review to put up here, but you know, well, uh, it's been a while since I did some YouTube videos, so just one more thing I wanted to add. I've always kind of hemmed and hawed about whether I really wanted to get a Jumbo, and I'm glad I did. It is a little on the smaller side, but overall I'm very happy with it. For what I use, this is my EDC, kind of, uh, when I'm not going to work, I'm just kicking around town, or I'm running up to the gym. This is the perfect bag for me to uh, run up there with me. Just kind of easily tosses in the car and goes with me without any problems. Um, overall size, it's definitely not as big as you might think. And I'll, just real quick, what I'll do, here's my iPad with uh, the Zag Folio case. You can see, holding up like that, height-wise, it's there. I mean, the, the, when I put the... Uh, the, the cover over, the flap over, it sticks up a bit, but definitely not a huge bag at all, but I do like it. I am very happy with it. Um, obviously, Max Edition quality, it's great. You can't beat it. It's uh, really good stuff. I mean, this is going to last forever. Um, so the way I run this normally, obviously, you've got the 32-ounce Nalgene bottle. Now, I will say, with my iPad in here, it's kind of snug for me to get this. Getting out's not a problem. But uh, putting it in can sometimes be a little tricky. Um, but uh, that's part of the reason why it's tricky this time. I'll we'll try it again. And actually, maybe I'm just maybe it's working itself a little looser now. But uh, very happy with that. Um, so now obviously the 32 ounce analogy goes in there without any problems. I like the color, the uh, green and khaki. Um, one of the reasons why I want this, yeah, is it tactical? Well, it's still green and khaki, yes, but it definitely looks a lot less tactical than you know, Owl Drab or uh, ACU color. Uh, kind of wish I got the maroon and khaki. I think that would have been a nice color combo too, but again, I do like this. I prefer the green. It's kind of my favorite color, so that's why I went with it. Overall, very happy. So, just starting on the front, you know, I obviously got my nice PVC American Flag morale patch. And starting with this little flat pocket. Just kind of a flat pocket that goes uh, across the front here. It's not real deep. Kind of have just some uh, easy objects in here. I got a pack of gum and a, uh, a buff, my EDC form buff. It's kind of nice flat. Goes right in there, no problems. Out of the way. Uh, on the top, this compartment up here. Uh, Size-wise, it's as big as it can be. I mean, looking at it, the only thing I wish Max Expedition would have done is put some elastic retention on the inside here. Um, everything, it's just kind of it's just an open compartment. A few elastic loops would have made this a whole lot nicer. Um, I just got some Aleve, small thing of hand lotion, chapstick, and the good old big lighter. Uh, goes in there. You know, it's. Maybe fit one or two other small things in there, but it's not a huge part. And I think kind of like a lot of people say, I use it for sunglasses, but um, that's what I have stuffed in there for now. One of the reasons why I went with the, uh, the variant also is because it's a slip pocket back here. I really like it. And I have tucked in here uh, my SOG multi-tool and one of those little uh, battery-powered light sticks. Here is the one issue I do have, though. When I put this uh, in here, Going to this front compartment, which I have my ever-present baby wipes. There's another little slot pocket back here, and in here I keep some Purell. The problem is with, with the multi-tool in here, it kind of eats into this compartment, and getting that in there with the baby wipes in is a lot harder. So, uh, not a deal breaker. Uh, if I didn't have the multi-tool back there, if I had a flatter tool or something, it wouldn't be a problem, but just that's how I run it, so. I also have some whisk points in there. So, um, when I, I couldn't fit a full pack of baby wipes in, I had to take a few out to get it in there. Um, you know, there's some molly straps on the front here, but to me, if you put anything else out here, it's going to really start making the bag a lot more bulky. I like, what I do like about it, even though it is small, it's very, it's compact. I don't want a huge bag at this point. I don't want to keep adding stuff to do so. Uh, that being said, what I may do is these loops on the bottom, 
And I'm not quite sure, again, why my expedition made these big loops kind of loose like this. I would rather regular molly or pals webbing on the bottom. Um, I may get like a 4x6 pouch or something to put on the bottom there. I, don't, I think it'd be look more like part of the bag itself as opposed to a big add-on sticking off the side. Haven't made up my mind yet, but that's what I'm thinking about. Continuing on through the front, the nice big, uh, it's not a Nexus, but a Duraflex buckle, no problems. Getting inside of here, yeah, of course I have the main compartment. Fits an iPad in here with no problem, and I still got some room in there for some other odds and ends. I actually, I uh, just took this on a, just on a trip flying, and I had the iPad and my wife's uh, Nook in here inside of her case, and there was still a little bit of room left. The uh, slot pocket in the back, again, another uh, small legal pad, just always like to have a decent sized pad of paper with me. There's another slot pocket to the front, I don't have anything in there right now. If I have earphones normally, that's uh, where I tuck them. Looking at the front, sh uh, the front pouch here, this is actually where this pen is from. Sliding that back in, I just have some pens and another little spiral pad, just kind of wanted to put something in there. What I have here is, uh, it's a CD case, and I found that this actually fits perfectly inside of here. Um, I kind of wasn't sure, I, my, um, my county comp organizer fit in there, but it fit height-wise, but it wasn't quite as wide, and I wanted to get some more items in there. Everything I have in here couldn't fit into the county comp organizer. So, you know, I've added a, you know, SOLED LED light on the outside. And on the inside here, what I did, I took this plastic mesh that I got at the, uh, at the craft store, I'm not sure what it's called, and then run some, uh, some elastic cord through here. And you see I got some, uh, some razor, uh, razor knives, well, refills, some duct tape, a volt case with batteries, nail clippers, a mini pick. Underneath here is a mini Pico bar from County Com. And then on the other side, same thing. And I have a mini screwdriver, a Sharpie, pencil, W40 pen, some sun and bug juice, and this is a you know cheap gimmicky knife they got me, but it's a uh, you know, it's a little locking uh, locking blade on that side, and uh, the other side is a razor knife. And it's a Husky, so it's a Home Depot brand. You know, not the greatest thing in the world, but it's nice and flat, fits in here with no problems. Um, just kind of an extra nice thing to have. And what I did is I left two of the sleeves in here from the CD case and I have a sewing kit and some emergency uh, drink packets in there. You can see it just zips up nice and neat. And it fits right down in that compartment, just about like it's made for it. Actually, if I took the solid light off there, it fit just a little bit better. Um, but getting back in here, I just have, there's another mesh pocket. I just have some zip ties tossed into there. And also have some, uh, some spare CR-123s. Actually, I can take these out. I, had to, I brought a Surefire with me on my trip, and uh, it's not in this bag normally, so I'm going to pull them out now. Uh, again, this slides in here just about perfectly. So you'll see, as I get around the top corner, it's a little snug, right around through there. But, you know, I'm not really, once I get around, I'm still not pulling the zipper too much. So that works uh, very well. We close this back up. Um, in the CCW pouch, I have my uh, County Con midi bar, mid-size breacher bar, uh, Hank 550 cord, a little roll of tape, uh, 511 boot knife. It's not a great knife, um, but uh, you know, got us a freebie, so takes up very little room. Goes in there. Uh, blowout patch, old style military blowout patch, and uh, knife sharpener. Coming around, um, put the bag like this. They finally, when uh, Max Fisher finally answered people's complaints about having a handle, the only problem was the handle they put on was just a cheap, pit, cheap piece of one-inch webbing. And looking at 
the uh, way this comes across. This pal's webbing under here, they just continued on and over, and that's, uh, that's how they did it. Uh, that's what, at least it appears to me that's how they did it. Um, you know, th th that little handle like itself just really doesn't feel like anything. So I wrapped it up some 550 cord. It definitely has a little, it's a little better to it. Not quite as bulky as I'd like, but pretty good. On this side, they got an HK uh, key keeper, and I have my lock on here for the gym. Um, if, I don't, if I'm not going to change the clothes, if I'm just running up there and back from the house, I'll take this with me, throw this in the locker, and that's why I keep it there. Just a good use for it. I have a little, uh, one of those, the Freebie Coast LED lights, which are actually really nice. I uh, got from there doing their survey or whatever, and I made a, a coil lanyard for it and just kind of have that tucked around. And this is the Maxpedition Cam Keeper. Uh, I just got, I, I bought it for the gimmick of it. It's a nice little pouch. And actually what I use it for is my charging cords uh, for my iPad and actually this is the charger cord for the, um, the Zagfolio uh, keypad thing. And it's you know, kind of out of the way, just a nice, nice little thing for it. You know, see on this side, I have an SPNR on there for my keys, and right here is a CPR micro shield. I tuck it behind the two inch webbing here, um, and just have it dummy corded on with a little bit of 550 cord, um, just kind of out of the way, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then moving on, I have my Janus FAC, which I haven't done a video on, I'll uh, do that also real quick. Um, but you know, that goes on there. What I'm planning on doing is, I'm going to order another one, a buckle like this and put it on the back side. I don't really like having the Janus sitting across my front, so I'm going to get a buckle, put it on this side so it's across my back, kind of more out of the way. Um, you know, once I do that, maybe I'll just shoot, uh, shoot another quick video showing how that was done. But uh, so that's it. That's my EDC setup for my Maxpedition Jumbo. Again, as always, always happy with... Uh, Maxpedition quality and their uh, layout and everything. So, uh, thanks for watching.